Hey everyone, it's Kevin Oxner, and as a productivity expert, I get tons of people asking me questions all the time like, how do I respond to all my messages, or how can I get more done, or even simply, where do I start? Those are good questions, and it's the sign of someone who's going places is when they start asking really good questions. You probably want to get more done because you want to spend more time doing the things you love with the people you love, and let's face it you probably want to make more money too. Well, it's not that hard to do. In this world, 90% of the people out there are just searching for the next killer app or the next great system that's going to magically make them more productive overnight. And that just doesn't happen. Another 9% are just lost in the shuffle, but it's that top 1%, the cream of the crop, who are, are really standing out because they've got a solid framework and then they modify it to fit their exact needs and specifications. They're the one getting amazing results time after time after time. And the coolest part is it's actually not that tough to set up a really awesome system. I want to take you back a little bit. I want to tell you a bit of a story. Back when I first started, when I first opened my business when I was still in university, I opened a student painting company. I was in my early 20s and I learned a lot about productivity. Let me give you an example of my, my typical day for the first few months. I get up around 7 a.m., which for me that was crazy early for the, for being 20 years old. I wake up around 7 a.m. I talk to my, all my painters. I had four crews at the time, so I talked to each of the four people from each of my crews. Then I head off to the paint store because it opened at eight. I stand around the paint store, standing in line, and then right at eight o'clock, I try and push my way through the door with about 10 or 15 other contractors doing the exact same thing. I rush around, grab my paint, grab my supplies, and try and be the first one back so I can get my paint on the shaker as soon as possible. After getting through the paint store experience, I headed off to each and every job site. And then I'd go and visit my painters, make sure they were doing okay. I'd do any training that was required. And of course, I'd try and talk to my clients at least a minimum of once a day. After that... I'd head off somewhere and either grab a sub and just try and eat it fast or some sort of burger and I'd eat it in my truck. <sighs> Did I tell you I was busy? After that little break, I was back at it because I'd either forgotten something at the paint store or my painters needed something. So then I went back to the paint store, got supplies again, and then went back to each and every job site because I kind of felt like I had to just check up on my painters and I had to go back and maybe just check on things, make sure everything was fine. And by the time I went back to four, four job sites, I was totally tired. I finally, around supper time, five, six o'clock some nights, I go f try and find a place to eat, usually take out. And then I had to prepare. I had to make some phone calls, this line of interview, or for, rather interviews for, for painters, and also um, line up some estimates to get more work. After that, I'd either do the estimates or I'd do the interviews, and I'd get home by 9 or 10 o'clock at night, and I'd just crash in my bed. The next day, I'd get up and do it again. My friends would give me a phone call, and they'd say, Hey, Kev, do you want to go out and hang out? And I'd be like, oh, Come on, guys, this is crazy. I'm, I'm working all day. This isn't fun. I, 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 have to, I have to do all this stuff. I have to get up bright and early at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. And they go, Oh, and they hang up, and that was my day. Day after day after day, and... Sure, I was making money, but I wasn't happy. Yep, I learned really, really quickly that having money, being financially successful, doesn't make you a whole person. It doesn't even make you have a happy life. Having the people around you, having the friends and the family and doing the things you love are what make you happy. And then if you add a bit of money, then things get really cool. So I really didn't know what to do because I was trying. I was, I was trying to work harder and work harder and work harder and work longer. But that wasn't the solution. Finally, I had a friend give me a phone call. His name's Andrew. He was my manager at the time. Andrew called me up, like, I'm seriously, bright and early in the morning, 6.50 a.m. And uh, he woke me up. He woke me up and he said, Kev, we got to talk. So that day, it was a Monday. That, that day, we just got together. And I talked to him for about three hours. All the time, I'm thinking about my painters. I got to go back. Got to go to my job sites. Got to do this. But, but we took the time. And what he said to me was, revolutionary at the time he said Kevin you're working so hard but you're not getting anything done you need to you know ramp up your productivity a little bit I said pardon me ramp it up do you understand what I do 
I get up at 7 o'clock, talk to my painters, go to the paint store, have a quick bite of tea, go back to the paint store, back to my painters, to make some phone calls, do estimates, do interviews, and then I crash into bed. How can my day be more packed? He said, well, yeah, you're busy, but you're not effective. Your effectiveness sucks. As a young entrepreneur, that hurt me more than anything. It really stung my heart. But at that point, I was ready to listen. So I sat down and we had a great chat. And we talked about things I could do immediately to make huge improvements in my business. And, he start, and what Andrew did was he started me on my road to being more productive. And after that, I read books and I looked up things. I, I tried out pretty much every type of activity I could. But after that one conversation, the very, that very week, I made some huge changes. And now, instead of running around like a chicken with my head cut off, my days were more like this. I'd wake up, talk to my painters, stop by the job site. Yeah, I didn't go to the paint store anymore, at least not every day. I went once a week. Because now I made a list of all the supplies I would need for every job in the next seven days. I go into the paint store, again, not at 8 a.m. I'd go in in the middle of the afternoon when nobody was there. I could walk in, take my time, look around, pick whatever I needed, and then pay for it and get out of there. What a, what a shocking revelation. After that, again, went to, my, went to my, see my painters, did the training. If they ever needed another supply, which sometimes they would, in the past I would drive back to a paint store, but in this case I just said, well, let's walk to my truck. Because what I did that very week is I went in and I paid about 500 bucks to load my truck up with every conceivable piece of painting equipment and supply that my guys could ever need. After that, I went in, and now instead of having to hop in a truck, think about where the closest paint store was, drive there, get it, drive back, which would take, what, a minimum of 45 minutes, probably more than, than an hour, I could take a walk down the drive, which is probably about a minute. What a difference. Something else I did, and I want to preface this a little bit, is that I wasn't, I'm not trying to, for, you never want to force clients to do anything. But if you give them suggestions and it works for them, they'll often take it. But what I would do is instead of when, now when I call for estimates and interviews or mostly for, for the estimates, in the past I would say, what time is good for you? And now instead what I would say is, I'm currently booking estimates for Tuesday, Thursday evenings and Saturday mornings. Which day works better for you? 90% of the people said, oh, it doesn't matter, uh, Thursday. Because in, in the end, they're home anyway. It didn't matter to them. And for the 10% that actually made a difference, that's fine. I made a time that was mutually beneficial. I didn't bend over backwards saying, anytime, anywhere, any place, any, any weather. I said, let's figure out what works for both of us, and we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. All these things going one after the other, after the other, after the other, all of a sudden opened up my days. I no longer was going back in the afternoon. It, well, I did go back in the, in the afternoon sometimes, but it was mostly to go pick up checks. And I got to tell you, it's a good feeling going back to a client to get paid. So I went back to pick up checks. I didn't have to run around and, and uh, have these, all these long nights every single night. I had them planned. I had some nights stacked and other nights were open. So when then my friends called, they said, Kevin, you want to go out? And I'd say, hey, we're young. Absolutely, let's go. And one of the biggest things, one of the, the f best days of my life, in that, at least in that summer was the time when I actually got a chance to go golfing. I had a chance to go golfing a couple of times in the afternoon because I'd done all my work. I'd set everything up. I had everything in motion, and I used my productivity principles to go from there. So that's it. That's how simple it can be. And here's something I wanted to share with you. I learned a lot from, from Andrew. One of the biggest things that I learned that summer was something called time blocking. You may have never heard of it, and that's fine, it's not that well known. I actually did some searching to try and find out more information because I wanted to get more involved, and I couldn't find anything. So I wrote the book on it. Literally, I wrote a 27-page ebook on time blocking. So if you're interested, what I'm looking at doing is, because it was given to me for free, I'm actually just looking to, to pay it forward. So if you're interested, just go ahead and check out the free ebook. And if you're looking for more videos like this, come back. I'm going to be making more of these. And I'm looking forward to sharing some more uh, cool productivity and time management information with you. With yourmakingme.com, I'm Kevin Oxner.